It's been a tough year for students, but meet Lennox, Catherine, Umar and Zin, superhero school kids from one of the UK's most disadvantaged neighbourhoods who are now off to live the American dream. They're swapping an East London sixth form for the top US Ivy League universities, home to the world's cleverest minds. After all, winning scholarships there are worth a cool quarter of a million pounds each. Zan and Umar are off to Harvard, where Barack Obama and Bill Gates studied. No pressure then. It all feels still a little surreal that I actually got into Harvard because even though I've worked hard for it, I never really thought I'd actually be able to achieve it. Having a place where you have a lot of students from disadvantaged backgrounds all coming together is quite a powerful environment. Lennox's mum is a carer who came to the UK from Sierra Leone. He's now off to Princeton to study physics, where a certain Albert Einstein used to teach. Anyone from any kind of background, whether it's privileged or not, you can do whatever you set your mind to do. So I think that's probably the big takeaway for me personally. Of course, even the brightest brains can't quite predict how things will play out right now. Thanks to COVID, Catherine may have to delay her scholarship to MIT to study physics until next year. Yeah, definitely. All students, it's a tough time because we've had our A-levels cancelled, but the Year 12s are trying to study for their A-levels right now in lockdown. So I think everybody is having a hard time. For the college here, it's a huge moment, educating youngsters from one of London's poorest boroughs. They hope this success of the Fantastic Four will be inspirational. Other students around the borough, seeing these young people from exactly the same background as them achieving, the question then becomes, why not me? The best in class then, packing their bags for new adventures and giving us all an important lesson that even in testing times, dreams can come true. Steve Hargrave, 5 News.